How's it going? Ramtide here, and I hope you're having a good day. I've had several people ask me about how to use a soundboard while playing in a game, as I often use a soundboard while playing Overwatch, so I decided that I would take the time to show you how to set it up. This video will be more of a precursor though, as I'll be covering the basics of what you'll need in order to set up your soundboard, and I'll also be focusing on ways to do this that are of no cost to you whatsoever. So with that being said, let's get into it. First up, you'll want to go and download and install Audacity and the Lame Encoder. As always, I will have a link to these programs in the description below. The Lame Encoder is necessary for exporting MP3 files directly from Audacity. It's also fairly straightforward in terms of installing. You'll just need to download and install it wherever you want. Personally, I installed it directly into the Audacity folder. Next up, you'll want to get Audacity ready to record. Next to the microphone, there should be a drop down menu. Click it and select Microsoft Sound Mapper. If the Sound Mapper doesn't show up, you may need the Realtek audio drivers, which will be in the description. From here, you're ready to go. and All you need to do is find the audio that you want and play it while simultaneously recording in Audacity. One thing that I do suggest is making sure that you find a source with good audio quality as no one wants to hear a distorted mess. If you're trying to capture a soundbite from a clip on YouTube, if the quality of the video sucks, then the audio probably sucks as well, but you can also just use your ears to figure that portion out. Anyway, once you have your audio, you can trim out what you don't need by selecting it and hitting delete. The recording may be at a relatively low volume as well, so you may need to select the clip, go to effect, and amplify in order to get it to a better volume. Ha! That'll show him! Once you're happy with the clip, then you're done. All you have to do is export it as an MP3, to wherever save location that you choose. I do suggest designating a save location for all of your soundboard clips as it makes it easier to organize and find them quickly if they're all grouped up together in one file. Anyway, that's what I have for this video. Be sure to stick around for the next one where I'll show you how to set up a soundboard to work with your mic in game. You have a stupendous day. I'll catch you on the next one. Ram tied out.